Well, Penn is, it's, we're all self-employed, we all work at home, we're so fragmented, and to have an organization like Penn that becomes kind of a crossroads for us, or becomes a, sometimes it's the water cooler, sometimes it's just the break room. It's nice. It's the advocate. Um, it's um, the door sideways, but Malibu still tries to push past her and run outside. It keeps us from being no, quite so long. is a literary nonprofit based in Beverly Hills, but we do programming all over town. Our mission uh, is as a community of writers defending freedom of expression and building a literary culture, which is why we were so excited to join with Silver Lake Jubilee. I'm just going to start right off. I think um, the first poet is an eminent scholar. Eminent. What does Shakespeare sound like? Did Condoleezza Rice vote for Barack Obama? Who plays lead guitar on Taxman? On the train from Krakow to Auschwitz, three young Japanese fold origami, killing time. I think my emerging voices experience was probably one of the single most important experiences of my life. With your hand still on the doorknob, you feel your palm flush with sweat and slip slide around the metal, and he says, you want to make the team, don't you? I know how proud your parents would be. So I think it's great to just keep the written word out there. There's music, there's written word, there's Maybe someone will dance. The conversation becomes more and more heated until she's shouting. She hangs up by slamming the phone on the table. Who is that, I ask. She grabs a napkin and blows her nose in response. The waiter appears with the sake. It's this incredible gift because they keep giving me a space to show what I work so you know, hard at. Thank you to Penn for always being such a force of good um, in the world of LA literature. You'll burn it down all right. Fill her up with so much fire, even Jesus will have to look away. Did you know that if you're able to acquire a friend of every race, then you are officially designated as the least racist person on earth? So, as much as I make fun of it, these are the great events that sort of, you know, give shape to LA, give shape to the city, and just give shape to who lives here. Let's give Miguel a round of applause. I don't know about you, but I, I never think people are going to show up for readings. And yet, people turned off their TVs and came here, which to me, is everything. Center. Standing here on stage in front of all of you, I would say being honest is indeed difficult. Um.